I was a very small boy when I received the bite. My parents tried everything, but in those days there was no cure. The potion that Professor Snape has been making me is a very recent discovery. It makes me safe, you see. As long as I take it in the week preceding the full moon, I keep my mind and I transform. I am able to curl up in my office, a harmless wolf, and wait for the moon to wane again. Before the Wolfsbane potion was discovered, however, I became a fully-fledged monster once a month. It seemed impossible that I'd be able to come to Hogwarts. Other parents weren't likely to want their children exposed to me. That was a quote from Remus Lupin in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. When J.K. Rowling made the concept for the character, she wanted him to be an allegory for people suffering from blood-borne illnesses like HIV and AIDS. And that's what she does with these books when she creates her characters. And even though it's in the world of magic and monsters and all of that, it's just... She's trying to send a message. and But people just can't understand that because there are... Because a lot of people think that Harry Potter crosses so many religious boundaries to the point where it's been labeled as witchcraft or dark magic, sorcery, and the point where it's been burned on the streets, quite literally. Like it was the Salem witch hunts all over again, except with books. Think about that. Let it sink in. Is it necessarily that bad to shed light on people who need help? Think about it. Let it sink in.